シュートロ Hey guys, Shinichi and Satoshi here. Welcome back. It is Wednesday, which means it's time for another delicious travel video. Today, we're taking a day trip to the Miura Peninsula. They are famous for some of the freshest tuna in Japan. Let's go! Hey guys, so we finally arrived in Misaki Port, our final destination. We've been here like four or five years ago, I don't remember, but we remember it being a really, really nice place. It's really beautiful, and they are famous for their, like we said, their maguro or fresh tuna. We're gonna try to find those things that we ate before that we found really tasty. I can't wait! We both got something called the Kaido Don. We wanted to just focus on the tuna. This includes three different types of tuna. I eat with rice. Mm. Mm. This is called Hommaguro. That is like the best piece of tuna you can never get your hands on. I don't eat Hommaguro that often, so I'm not used to this taste. It's like the flavor is so intense, I'm kind of surprised. So this one is Bincho Maguro. This is a different type of tuna, and for this one, I'm gonna put a little bit of wasabi on it, just a little bit. And maybe I'll put some soy sauce on it as well. Oops! Okay, that's too much soy sauce. <laughs> that's an example of too much soy sauce, but that's okay. Oh! Oh, this is nice. Mmm! I need some of that rice. Mmm! Oh! Some rice with some of this seaweed here. Mmm! It's kind of... Crunchy, the seaweed, it's really nice. They gave us three different um, side dishes here, very small ones. This is um, tuna simmered in a sweet soy sauce. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh my god, it's so tender. It's like melt in your mouth tender. For those of you who don't like raw tuna, if you prefer your tuna cooked, there are restaurants around this area that serve cooked tuna, if that's more of your thing. Now I'm going to try the chu toro, which is like the medium fatty tuna. I'm just going to put a little bit of wasabi. I love wasabi. And I already poured some soy sauce over this one. Look at that. Look at that color, how beautiful it is. And it's actually a rather thick piece of tuna. Mmm, that is pretty fatty. It's much fattier than your regular tuna. Okay, this one I believe is the intestines of the tuna. I usually don't like intestines. Here we go. Mm, mm, mm. The taste is actually not bad. Take two now. Mm, not bad. I actually like it now. I like that you get like a whole ocean full of flavors in here. You not only get the three different types of fish, but you get this green seaweed that has that crunchy texture. And you also get this seaweed. And it's really nice, like if you eat this together with the tuna, you get this really beautiful ocean flavor. And that's a good thing. Look at that. 
Mmm, yummy. I saved this for my last bite. Tuna, tuna, tuna. Tuna, tuna, tuna. Mm -hmm. Crazy Magurenu. This is Magurenu with tuna inside. We gotta try one of these. Let's try the Magurenu, shall we? <laughs> this is called Akamoku no Maguro Katsu. Akamoku is a kind of seaweed, and Maguro is tuna. The shop name is Seigetsu in Urari Marche. This Akamoku seaweed has a little bit sliminess, so I'm very, very looking forward to it. Oh, oh it tastes like the minchikatsu, minchikatsu, but with seaweed flavor, interesting combination, and it matches. And it's not slimy. Look, it's not slimy. Mm -hmm. And you know, sometimes tuna has a fishy smell, but it's, this is not. Really nice. This is cold, but the outside is very crispy. And I'm very happy to say that this is good because the shop owner was boasting about this one. He said this is his creation. You can only buy it at his shop. And it was even featured on television. So I thought, oh, maybe he's just hyping it up, but no hype. This is the real deal. This is really good. Okay, and this is also from the same shop. This is the uh, Madeleine with tuna and I am familiar with the uh, sweet Madeleine and I believe this one is sweet as well because the ingredient says butter, sugar, flour and of course tuna and already you kind of see the tuna in there. That's the tuna guys. Here let me um, see if we can... Oh there we go. Can you see the tuna flakes here? That's tuna! Wow, this is once again very, very unique. Oh, and it smells buttery, a little bit of soy sauce. Fortunately, no fishy smell. Hmm, the cake part is really nice. It's a pretty solid Madeleine. It's not that bad. I can definitely feel the texture of tuna and I, I do get like a subtle flavor of tuna but it's not strong. It's not strange. For me, this is good. Of course we had to pick up something else from a different stall at this marketplace. We got this Toroman from Misaki Maguro Club. Let's give it a try. Mm, fortunately, it doesn't smell fishy. and. Uh, it kind of smells like uh, your run-of-the-mill nikuman that you can buy everywhere. Oh, hot. Mmm. 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 Definitely fish, not meat. You know what? It's not bad. This is really not bad. Five, six years ago, the last time we came, Satoshi, I remember this tasting very fishy. I don't remember if it's from the same stall or maybe a different stall, but this one, doesn't taste fishy at all. It tastes very nice. I'm actually pleasantly surprised. I was prepared, guys, to give you an honest negative opinion of this, but I can't anymore because they either have improved or we, we're just, we just bought this at a different store. There's like bamboo shoots in here, shiitake mushrooms, there's tuna for sure. The bun is really nice, not dry at all whatsoever, really fluffy, not bad at all. Hey guys, we just crossed over to Jogashima Island. It's just a 10 minute boat ride. That was so nice atmosphere. So we're on the island now. I'm not sure where we're actually headed to. Satoshi said that there's like a really beautiful view. So we're gonna go over there 
and hopefully there's more food. Ooh, check it out. There's like this really cute street. There's like shops and, well, shops. <laughs> I like any small streets with shops. <laughs> What's this? It's a lighthouse. Lighthouse? Yes. Okay, let's go check out the lighthouse. Ooh, look at these flowers. I've never seen these before. What are these? So this lighthouse is supposedly been built 400 years ago, so it's pretty old. And it overlooks this beautiful ocean here. And there's a really nice boardwalk with lots of plants on either side and a lot of flowers. Actually, there are too many plants, but it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Oh. And, oh, here we are at the ocean. Ocean coast. Wow. Oh, here we are at the ocean. This is beautiful. I love it because there's no people here. Well, there are some people here and there. I even see people tenting, camping. I'm people. I'm people. <laughs> You're people. people. It's a nice place. It's not like the kind of, you know, white sand beach where you can actually swim, but it's beautiful. Finally, the breeze is here. Finally, it's a little cooler. So we walk for about 30 minutes, we come to the end of the road, and we come here to this rock formation. This is called the Hoseback Tunnel. Hey guys, we're back in the mainland and it's past 5 p.m. So, crossing my fingers that something is open. I could really use a nice bowl of shave ice right now. Hi guys. So, unfortunately, we were too late and all the shops, all the cafes, restaurants, are closed for the day so unfortunately we couldn't get any dessert for you guys but we really hope you guys still enjoyed this video um, I guess we're gonna end it with a visit to the Kainan Shrine this is a very important shrine for the people who live here in uh, Misaki Port thank you so much for watching if you enjoy these kind of videos click here and check out our Japan travel playlist we have a whole bunch of videos for you don't forget to subscribe press that notification bell and big thanks to all the patrons for supporting us see you guys in our next adventure bye